Okay, traders, yeah, I'm sure you're good and I'm sure you're doing well with all matters and specifically trading activities. So, as usual, um, I have been sharing those analysis on weekend, uh, but today I'm doing it on Friday because of uh, NFP release. It has been a, a very special day now. So, there are certain basic uh, changes in market structure. So, I want to show... Uh, what is the current market structure before the release of NFP and probably what, what we have to expect now. NFP will have uh, such kind of effect in, in gold. We are looking, uh, we're looking uh, in gold now. So I'm going to show a direction that is mostly uh, expected to, to be taken by gold during NFP release. So this is very basic. And also I have depict, depicted a certain very basic market structure in gold that's why i have decided to show this structure before it has uh, it has done its effect so make sure that you watch this video this video uh, till the end uh, in order to be able to know what's that basic structure and what is the uh, most expected direction so i'm in a weekly time frame uh, now mainly uh, from this time frame looking at the current price always the whole week now was down we had uh, movement uh, to the upside now. I think it is maybe on the first day of the week or maybe a few days of the week, maybe two days. And then market started moving down. And always it has moved beyond the area where it closed last week. So this shows that sellers, they were still in control. So as this is happening now, we are at a certain specific area, which has been at least very key. This area is very key now. In daily time frame, I'm going to show why I call this area is very key area. So now, always we are almost at a certain very key area. And now if you turn this into line chart, uh, you can find that now something's going on there. Something's going on there. Uh, probably sometimes I include this in I include this in RSI now. Looking in RSI now, you can see what is happening because RSI mostly help, help me to identify those key turnings now key turnings in the market so now based on the current appearance of the market and the market has already moved it to a certain area there's a very simple idea here that now here market may form something like this before it is going to move down we expect it may pull back now it may pull back to the upside little bit in order to formulate now it may mainly uh to form this uh we call it as a head and shoulder pattern now we expect we have this shoulder, then we have this head, and another shoulder is going to be formed there. That is a very, a very simple idea that we may include in order to, uh, to to get the understanding that at a, from the current market uh, price, uh, we expect that price is going to rise. That is a very simple idea that we may put there. So, so now as we go on, we'll find other factors of confluence in order to know exactly where the market is going to move. Now let's go to daily time frame. Now we are going very quick. I need to have a very short video. I'm going very quick, very quick, very quick. In a daily time frame, at least we see we see the whole market structure whereby currently we had this triangle pattern and it has been completed there with wave e which was wave b now so this movement to the downside it is in wave c so this movement in wave c usually can be in impasse or can be in form of diagonal so now we expect it will have, will have a one two three four five down so now this movement at the beginning from wave e to the downside it seems like has completed the one two three four so this movement to the downside is now the fifth wave so now does this fifth wave has been completed to the downside or it is still underway so we have to dig deeper in lower time frame time frames in order to, under, to understand this so now always the fifth wave it seems like has taken a form of diagonal it has taken a form of diagonal so looking at it clearly you can find it seems like it had this first wave move and then it has movement to the upside too. So maybe in higher time frames, it might have some movement to, movements to the downside. That's why I have labeled the one, two, three, four, five probably was expected to be here now. So I have not maybe labeled there as five. The labels are very far. The labels are very far, very far, very, very far, very far. Maybe let me go to higher time frame to see those labels. Oh, where are my labels? Where are my labels? Where are my labels? Where I may labels now this one. Probably we may take this and also we may take this. I put them too far because they are not yet confirmed. They are not yet confirmed. So if you will put them there, they may confuse you and then 
you will think that maybe the movement to the downside is completed but uh, might be still underway. So now we had this, oh, I have disturbed things, I have disturbed things, but no problem at all, no problem. The second wave, the second wave is going to be somewhere there. And this was the first, now we had the fourth, uh, the fourth is somewhere there, then we had the, this was the first, uh, in any way, the third, this was the second, and then we had the fourth, somewhere there, so we expect this was the fifth, somewhere there, and this was the third in a higher degree. So now, <clears throat> probably, probably, probably in daily time frame, probably, probably we expect to have something like this. So maybe fifth has been completed here. If fifth has already completed, now as we go to lower time frames, we will understand this. So if fifth has been completed here, so we expect in a higher degree also. Similar thing will be in a higher degree, this one, fifth, we will take it. I will take it and label it there. Fifth now. Always we expect now we have completed the one, two, one, two, three, four, five in all degrees to the downside. We have completed the one, two, three, four, five down uh, in all those two degrees that are operating there. So if we have completed that, if we have already completed that, if we have already completed that, I want to link this uh, with the idea that I presented last week on the weekend now. I presented a certain idea about a box here. I, 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 I talked about the idea of order block. I said there was an order block that was created here. So price moved up without, I mean, touching the order block. And now it has turned into that order block. So mostly we expect it will bounce from this order block to find power backward there before it is straightly moving down, breaking that order block. So that was idea last week. So now... Until now, the block, I mean, the order block has not, has not yet broken. Price has not yet moved below that order block. Please, we may have a quick recap here. We may have a quick recap here. Up without touching the order block. And now, so the, oh my God. It's moved up without touching the order block. And now, for so the very first time now, has came to that order block. So we expect, now we must be careful here. We expect now, if price is not going to move below this box now we have this box here we have this green box so if price is not going to move below this box if it's not going to move below this box let's expect it to see okay exactly now so now the idea was this was shared on instagram now for those who have not yet followed us on instagram uh we are awesome forex tz on instagram so we share some contents on instagram now you can see there are very, very basic things shared here. So you can follow us as Asam Forex TZ. So now, I was talking about this box. I said, if price is not going to move below this box, let us expect to see it above it. It is going to bounce from this area to the upside. So now, let's go to four hours and see maybe what's happening exactly. Let's go to four hours and see what is uh, taking place recently now. We can have those recent movements. We can identify those recent movement of price in four hours. Now I'm I'm I'm, I'm trying to tweak those those labels here because uh, as I change from one time frame to another, they shift now. They shift as I move from one time frame to another. So now going to four hours, going to four hours, and uh, now probably probably we have already completed the one, two, three, four, five in the fifth wave now. Probably we have already completed the one, two, three, four, five because fifth wave has got various characteristics. Sometimes maybe truncated, sometimes maybe extended, or sometimes may play equality with the first wave. So anything can happen in the fifth wave. Therefore, it is sometimes uh, very hard to depict now uh, exactly where the fifth wave is going to end. That's why labeling it uh, area before completion of those major movements in higher time frames, uh, you will find uh, sometimes you are wrong several times uh, than. How many times maybe you'll be right. So now, if now price uh, is at this area right now, and we expect to have completed those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the downside, now the current movement to the upside, the current movement to the upside, we expect this will be a beginning of correction now. We expect this will be a beginning of correction, and correction can take any form. Probably can be a zigzag now, an A, B, C. It may be a zigzag, an A, B, C. In that ABC now, it will it will move upward 
to a certain depth now. We expect it will move upward to a certain depth so we can measure the depth of depth of correction now. If this fifth wave is already completed to the downside there, so if we put the Fibonacci retracement now, mostly we expect it to see it around 61% or sometimes it may go to 78%, 78%. And now, uh, based on the market structure here, it is mostly likely to move up to 78% because it is when it broken this level here. I think uh, because it was broken this level and it has not yet retested it, in a, uh, there's no a big retest. So it may move up to this area in order to retest. But mostly uh, we can watch it to turn to around this 61% uh, so that's possible. So now the current move to the upside is uh, like the beginning of correction. It's like the beginning of correction that will that is going to take any form. It's going to take any form. It can be zigzag. It can be flat mostly, or sometimes it may be combination of our uh, corrective structures. So if that's the case, as we move to lower time frames, uh, we will identify exactly now if this is a one, two, three, four, five, or anything else. But now I can add another thing, another fact of confluence here. I can add another fact of confluence here to understand exactly uh, what is expected to happen now. We had this upper channel. Uh, usually an upper channel always connects the top of the second wave now in downtrend and the top of the fourth wave. And always we have done that. We have done that. So extending this upper channel, extending this upper channel, extending this upper channel, you will get another idea. You will get another idea also if you extend this upper channel. Uh, whereby the idea here is now market was uh, rejected now several times now through this trend line. Was rejected several times and here was successfully broken it and has retested. So if it has already done that, if it has already done that, it's now clearly that market is going to keep on moving to the upside. That is another factor of confluence. And if you are going to turn this into line graph, you may have an idea about the inverted head and shoulder also. You can do those things. Uh, basically, I'm, going, uh, I, I, I'm just showing you the direction so you can sit by your own and um, make on a follow-up. You can make a follow-up on maybe what I've said if maybe I'm going a little bit quick. So now, moving to lower time frame, maybe hourly time frame, which is mostly the last time frame for me to talk about uh, my ana in my analysis. Uh, basically, in the lower time frames, we may have a very clear picture about completion of the fifth wave uh, to the downside. It may show us a, a clear picture of completion of the fifth wave to the downside, uh, but mostly let us consider what is going on in higher time frames, whereby in a higher time frame, we are still down. So I'll talk the idea about, I mean, I'll present the idea about uh, NFP in relation to the current market structure. But mostly, at the current position here in hourly time frame, uh, we may have a clear completion of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the downside. So it's like we have full completed 5, five wave to the downside. But now, in a lower time frame, it's, it is not guaranteed because the higher time frames are the ones that drive lower time frames. So let us watch what's going to happen. At least we must see price moving above 1780 something now. We must see price moving at least above 1782 maybe. Or if you need a higher, I mean to have a high confidence, you must wait up to 1790 something there. So if you see price moving in those areas and has created an opportunity to buy, always that will be a very, a very great, uh, a very great, a very great opportunity now. That will be a very great and very safe opportunity. So from the current position, uh, don't expect it to take buy trades because the market may turn to the downside because higher time frames, they are still down. So now in relation to NFP now, in relation to NFP, because we are in the fifth wave in a higher degree, so in the fifth wave, wave I mean, uh, mostly, mostly people psychologically, they are still in, interested on that particular direction. So we expect it may keep on pushing to the downside uh, based on uh, those news release. It will keep on pushing to the downside. And also in this higher degree, we are moving to the upside and we are in the first wave. So always in the first wave, news are very bad. 
So always we expect they will be pushing also to the downside. So let's expect that. I'm just interpreting based on elo to wave personality or elo elo to wave uh, psychology based on those particular waves. So it is thing it seems to be like that. But for those who know to interpret those uh, fundamentals, the previous and maybe the 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 forecast and everything, uh, probably they can add the analysis here in order to get confidence on whether uh, that uh, effect of news will be. Uh, to the downside or to the upside but mostly i expected to see price pushing to the downside during nfp i expected to see price pushing to the upside at least pushing to the downside i mean at least to see price pushing to the downside during nfp based on the lo12 personality but make sure that you make your own interpretation in order to be able to uh, to trade nfp if you want to trade any i mean news uh if if you are not news trader uh, please you have to stay out of the market so thank you for your time and have a good weekend and i expect probably i'm not having i'm not going to have another recording uh because this is going now this has provided a direction for the coming week because this movement to the upside we expected to keep on taking place uh maybe the whole coming week so this has given us an overall picture of what is expected to happen in the coming week so we're not uh, going to have uh, video analysis on weekend or uh, now this will take us uh, for the whole weekend and for the whole coming week so thank you for your time remember to subscribe remember to share remember to comment uh, remember to like do anything always i appreciate indians always indians i see you awake indians i see you awake i see you awake i appreciate i appreciate indians you are very good you are very good you are very good i appreciate indians and tanzanians also uh, i see we are together tanzanians we are together and other countries at least so thank you for your time and um welcome again see you next time at asam forex thank you